In this video, we are going to understand about pure substance versus mixtures. Okay. Let's first understand about pure substance. Pure substance can be either elements okay, or they can be compounds. We've already discussed about what elements are and what compounds are in some of our earlier videos which you can refer. Okay. Now if we look out in the nature, pure substance which are there, let's say elements and compounds are rarely found in pure form in the nature. Okay, why? Because normally any element that you may take, even if you take let's say that matter any element that you may take does gets along with some of the other elements in the nature and they are not found in the pure form. What they are found is they are found in the form of mixtures. Now what do you mean by mixtures? If you look at this mixtures uses the word mix. Right? So therefore what happens is that when one or more, actually when two or more pure substance combine together, they form mixtures. Right? And mixtures basically is referred to as a substance which can be separated by physical means into two or more pure substance. Why? Because as I told you, let's say you have pure substance 1 plus pure substance 2. When the two of them combine, they will form a mixture. Now, a mixture it's by itself is referred to as a substance, it is also a substance which can be broken down back into ES1 which is pure substance 1 and pure substance 2 and that can happen by physical means, right? So you don't need to kind of add on chemicals to separate them. By physical means, you can separate a mixture into two or more pure substance, right? Let me give you an example to illustrate this point. Now steel is something which we ordinarily use in our day to day life. Right? Steel is basically an alloy. Okay? Alloy means what? It basically contains of two or more components. So in steel's case, steel is formed by using iron plus carbon plus manganese. When the three of these are combined you form steel. Okay. Now interestingly steel is much more useful than iron. I mean you don't prepare utensils in wide variety and quantity what way you can use it for steel. Steel is used for making a large amount of buildings also. Sometimes you see these pillars which are made up of steel in several buildings. Okay? So an alloy is normally much more useful than independent pure substance. So let's say iron is pure substance 1, carbon is pure substance 2 and manganese is pure substance 3. Forming an alloy of these three substances in the form of steel which can be used for various other purposes is definitely much more helpful and therefore that's why the need for mixtures come. And there are several other mixtures that we use in our day to day life. So let's say when you use medicines, they are formed of various chemicals. Okay? So let's say a chemical 1, chemical 2 plus salt or whatever it might be, they are combined to form medicine 1. Another example is, let's say you use soaps. 
that also contains various pure substances which combine together to form soap. So all these are examples of mixtures.